Hey everybody, my name's Joe. Welcome to another episode of The Sob Doctor. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the newly released Krona Coolant Tea, which is for the 2-liter Ecotech motors in the 9.3. Stay tuned! Alright, so I feel like I need a hand model for, uh, this episode, first time ever. This is the Krona KP600 Coolant Tea. So this coolant tea is made from 6061 anodized aluminum. It has a serviceable o-ring in here and well I mean you theoretically shouldn't have to service it because it carries a lifetime warranty through Corona and Esab Parts of which Esab Parts is the exclusive distributor of this. So you've got Matt backing it up. I mean other than that it's a you know a pretty well machined piece of aluminum. Uh, but it's a pretty simple part because literally it's just um, a T and this screws right in. It's actually really, you know, really well made, nice lightweight, significantly better than the plastic ones these cars normally have. And we are actually going to replace the plastic one on my wife's 240,000 mile 2010 9.3. Now, the car doesn't actually need one, but I want to try it out and see if it's any good. So we're going to take it, we're going to put it in the car and See how it works. Also, I am chasing a coolant leak on this car, so replacing this can't hurt. Uh, I think the car probably needs a new radiator, though. Or, if I'm really unlucky, it's the water pump, which I hope it's not, because at that point, the engine's coming out, because 240,000 miles. Anyways, let's get to installing this. All right, now normally for this job, you're going to start off taking out the three T30 Torx at the top. I have replaced the uh, screws in this one, so these are not T30s, but you remove the three T30 torques from this panel. All right, the coolant tee is actually right there. It's super easy to get to. This one isn't broken or leaking at all. But you know, we're just going to do the upgrade anyways because Looks like a good upgrade, simple replacement, may as well do it. And I mean, here, these are all of 39 bucks. You know, for me, that's cheap insurance to make sure that this thing doesn't spring a leak and all of a sudden spray the ECU with coolant, which would be really bad. Uh, I may actually move the ECU for this. I don't think I need to, but no, I'm not going to. What I'm going to do is I'll just kind of put something here to make sure none of the coolant runs onto it. Well... It's four bolts. I'm going to move it out of the way. I want to be safe. I'd rather be safe than sorry. Now I'm just taking this and moving it out of the way. I'm not actually going to remove it completely. Now at this point, this should be really simple. Grab an angle pliers and undo the three hose clamps. I'm going to start with this one on the T and then do the two big ones. Now you are going to make a coolant mess while doing this, just an FYI. Alright, and it's out. It's actually in really, really good shape. So uh, I'm gonna save this one because it's, it never hurts to have a it never hurts to have a spare if you have one around. All right, now that that one's out, let's put the brand new Krona one in. Okay. 
That actually fits like a glove. It fits perfect. All right, now one thing I always do is, if I do something like this where I get an antifreeze all over the car, I make sure just like hose down the area a little bit so I just don't have that smell of burning antifreeze all the time. So I'm just gonna spray down the alternator area. Luckily the car's in storage, so it should all be dissipated by the time it's out of storage, but I'm still gonna run it a bit so we can burp the system as well. One thing you'll notice is I use just a little, little bit of low, low pressure water. You don't need to spray, you don't need to go crazy, you just want to rinse, a, rinse that little bit of antifreeze off there so there isn't a problem. So now let's get the ECU back in. I'm not going to put the cover back on, and then we're going to refill the system and start up the car and see if anything leaks. All right, now that that's back in, let's top off the uh, antifreeze and start her up, see if she leaks. One thing I'll note is you probably noticed that I left the, cup, the cap on. That's going to slow down the antifreeze from running out of the system when you pull the tea out. So leave the cap on while you're changing this tea. Now I'm going to note that I refill with any make, any model coolant. Not everyone will agree with that. Uh, this car would have Dex Cool in it, so you could use Dex Cool as well, but I always use the uh, any make, any model. All right, now let's just keep an eye right here on the uh, coolant tee to see if it leaks. Now that was actually probably really boring to watch because it didn't leak anything. So the only thing left to do at this point, and I'm not even going to do it on camera because it's so elementary, is just put the cover back on and you're good to go. So make sure, check your fluid, top off your system. If you remove the ECU, do not forget to put the ground strap back. The only reason I removed the ECU is to make sure not to get it wet because I know T8 ECUs are problematic. You know something, looking at how it's made, I, I don't think it's gonna be a failure point ever because it's made of aluminum and it's anodized so it looks nice. You know, it actually looks way nicer than the rest of this 240,000 mile engine bay so I might have to clean that up a bit. And when you look at it compared to the plastic one, I mean, it makes you wonder why GM and Saab didn't just use a metal T to begin with. It would've lasted longer, it would've in my opinion, made more sense. I get that it's kind of a sacrificial part of the system, but um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why they wouldn't have. I will say this, it didn't fail on this car and that T had 240,000 miles. It was more of a preventative replacement and it's a cheap preventative replacement, 39 bucks, lifetime warrantied from ESAB parts. Thank you all for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. If you need a new coolant tea, buy the Chrono one. Link is in the description below. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this, to like, share, and subscribe, and sab on, folks.